very quickly pray in the spirit while you are doing so please everyone who are praying in the spirit this is a very prophetic moment right now pass them to the person at your extreme left or extreme right ushers will pick them up bring them up to the altar whilst you are still praying if you are still writing please take a minute or two and write very quickly the god of heaven is about to visit you I truly believe in the God that answers prayer. I do. I have seen him answer prayer. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Please pass your prayer request. Let's do it very quickly. The extreme left or the extreme right. There will be an usher to pick it very quickly. If you're writing, and for those who are connecting across the globe, here's your chance. Submit or connect by faith if you can't. You can just place it in front, you know, just in front of whatever device you're using, your television, your device. We have a covenant with God. It's a covenant of answered prayer. Submit and then you pray. Your life is about to change. The God who keeps working wonders in this ministry is about to do the same in your life. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name, Jesus. You deserve. While we await the request to come to be brought here whilst you are seated or standing as the case may be if there is any part of your body where you are trusting God for a miracle just place your hand there right now I want to speak over the sick we may not have time sadly to take testimonies now would we'll put that for next week but I think God decided to move in a very mighty way to visit God's people tonight lay your hands you're standing in for yourself for all the hospitals that are connecting for healings right now, please, you can, whether you are using a phone or television, you can just put it before your patients. I'm about to pray. And for those who are following across the globe, if you came with someone who is not able to coordinate himself or herself, just that they make contact with the sound is enough. If you're seated here, lay your hands. If it's your head, lay your hands there. If it's a part of your body ailing you, lay your hands there. He sent forth his word, the Bible says, and the word he led them and delivered them from all their destructions. And I want you to be very intentional. We may not have time to call out for testimonies because we're working with time, but make sure you receive. You need to check yourself after the prayer. You can go to the medical stand, check yourself. Doors are always open for you to come and give your testimony but lay your hands right now a miracle is about to happen to someone if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest high blood pressure diabetes peptic ulcer or ulcers across your body bone conditions blood conditions heart palpitations eye conditions headaches, migraines, pile, cancers, all kinds of malignant growths, fibroids, lumps. I'm mentioning these things because they have names. And if they do have names, then it means they are alive. If they are alive, it means they can hear. If they can hear, it means they can bow. Tooth conditions like our precious sister who shared a testimony.
pains around your joints, your arms, neck, hearing problems, seeing problems. Perhaps you came here for yourself or with someone you're unable to walk. You're using an aid or a crutch or a wheelchair. Connect by faith now. I'm about to pray. You sent your word and it healed my disease. You are the Lord, my healer. Keep your hands there. I am the Lord that he led thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word and it healed your disease. Father, in the name of Jesus, you have given us the grace to extend your healing power to the nations, even your people. There are hundreds, probably thousands of people gathered here tonight for themselves, for their loved ones, trusting you to touch them across several areas of their bodies. It is your desire that we walk in healing, the healing that has been purchased through your blood. And I pray right now in the name of Jesus, that every spirit of infirmity plaguing anyone's body cutting short your days cutting short your vitality by the power that raised Christ even from the dead I decree and declare that spirit is exited from your body now and I declare be healed right now be healed right now migraine headaches be healed right now peptic ulcer and all kinds of ulcers be healed right now Amen. my god such a strong anointing flowing here you deserve the glory and the honor we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name you deserve the glory and the honor Father, we lift our hands in worship as we bless your holy name. For you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. You are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. declare healing to eye conditions right now in the name of Jesus short-sightedness long-sightedness cataract glaucoma in the name of Jesus be healed now every blood condition you have running through your body causing you illnesses of all sorts let your blood be cleansed now in the name of Jesus bone conditions of any kind and of all sorts be healed right now in the name of Jesus respiratory conditions be healed right now in the name of Jesus muscle problems of any and all sorts be healed in the name of Jesus organ failures be healed in the name of Jesus any kind of organ that has failed or is failing it jacks back to life now in the name of Jesus hearing problems be healed now in the name of Jesus problems with your your nerves in the name of Jesus receive brand new nerves in your body lumbar spondylosis be healed now lung problems respiratory problems be healed now even though I'm praying for healing 
everyone in need of the fruit of the womb lay your hands there right now fruit of the womb lay your hands there right now for yourself your sister some family you know and you are praying for in the name of Jesus I declare that this is the season of fruitfulness shout a believing amen everyone in need of children by the power that raised Christ from the dead I speak to you be fruitful be fruitful may God give you children male and female children male and female for some of you carry twins and triplets in the name of Jesus We're still praying. I sense in my heart to speak over someone who is weary. That even when you hear the word of God coming like this, something in you has died. Like I taught you when I was teaching on, I think it was staying power or so. Something in you has died. Hope has been so deferred. It's as if you cannot see God's faithfulness again. The Lord is asking me to speak to you even now. He said, if you had come, your brother would not have died. He says, but even now, even now, even now, even now, I don't know who God is speaking to. You've been disappointed in circles, in series, but even now, I am still faithful. Take it as a prophetic word. God is telling someone, even now, concerning your business, even now, concerning your marriage, even now, concerning your job, even now, concerning ministry, integrity still pays, godliness still pays, righteousness still pays. Do not think you gave yourself cheaply to life for standing on God's side even now their spirits are broken and the Bible says a broken spirit can dry up the bones trouble can start from your spirit your mind and affect you physically you go to the hospital and no machine can diagnose you but you are dying I pray for such people be healed right now Amen. be healed from pain Amen. be healed from hurt Amen. be healed from disappointments Amen. I minister that healing to you by the Spirit of God in the name of Jesus Christ amen and amen whilst you are seated stretch your hands towards this request stretch your hands and I want you to begin to pray in one minute father this is a manifestation a token representing my desire if you are here to drop your request please make it fast I'm about to pray I'm praying for someone there are not many times this song has come to my spirit but now the Lord is putting it in my spirit and I want to turn that song into a prayer as you stretch your hands what's your request Lord make a way for me are you ready now make a way for me in the name of Jesus make a way for me make a way but as for me I will stand trusting you I'll be here loving you all of the days of my life I'll be here loving you all of the days of my life and I'll be here trusting you all of the days of my life I'll be here trusting you all of the days of my life Father, in the name of Jesus, I hope you are praying. I release answers, 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 in the name of Jesus, answers, supernatural answers by the power of the Holy Spirit, answers through the ministry of men 
answers through divine intervention, answers through divine strategies, answers by judging enemies, answers by giving rest roundabout, answers by opening the book of remembrance in the name of Jesus. Hear me. We serve a prayer answering God, not just a prayer hearing God. I decree and declare, bowing my knees over these requests, every request here represented, and the many that have been sent online, the many that are on someone's table, probably on the ground, in the name of Jesus Christ, let there be speedy answers. Shout like you're a believer, speedy answers. In the name of Jesus Christ. Speedy answers in the name of Jesus. Therefore I declare unto you that the Egyptians you see today, I stand upon this request prophetically. The Egyptians you see today, may you see them no more forever. The same way I have stood upon your request, no situation will rise above you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Rise to receive the prophetic word. You will never be the same. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. You've touched His grace. Your life must change. You will never be the same. Every closed door over your destiny by the power that raised Christ from the dead, that door is open now. That door is open now. Open for you and your children. Open for you and your wife. Open for you and your husband. Open for you and everyone connected to you. In the name of Jesus. Number two. Genesis 21 verse 6. This is someone's prophetic word. I'm praying now. 21 verse 6. Genesis. Genesis 21 verse 6. And Sarah said, God had made me to laugh so that all that hear will laugh with me. I decree and declare, let this be a season of laughter for you. Let this be a season of laughter for you. In the name of Jesus, laughter in the morning, laughter in the afternoon, laughter in the evening, laughter in the night. In the name of Jesus, you will love to sleep and laugh when you wake up. In the name of Jesus. And that night could not King Ahasuerus sleep. And he said, bring me the chronicles. And when they opened it, they found where Mordecai saved him and was not rewarded. Anyone who should be a conduit for your reward in this season, I pray may my God wake them and cause them to remember you. Wake them and cause them to remember you. Wake them and cause them to remember you. In the name of Jesus. When Nehemiah began to build the temple, the wall of Jerusalem. The Bible says there were two strange men that came to cause trouble to that project. One, Sambalat. Two, Tobias. I pray for you. Anyone spying on your progress and working with men and spirits to see that you don't advance, to see that the promotion does not come, to see that the rest does not come, I decree and declare they are banished from your life forever from your life forever you see let me tell you there are certain men in the Bible who are not just men when you hear their names they speak of spirits 
Absalom, Sambalat, Tobias. Are we together? You hear of all these names. These are not names Haman. You see that now. These are people who they came into the lives of people and destroyed them. Absalom, for instance, this guy began to gain popularity over a, a period of years to a point that he convinced the advisor, the, the, the advisor of David. Absalom, I'm praying for you. Any person who wants to speak to the ears of your helpers to stop them from arising to help or continue what they started doing, may they never get to the ears of your helpers. If you are a king here and there is any Haman roaming around your palace, even if he's helping you for now, may God expose them. May God expose them. For the safety of your kingdom, may God expose them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Even though it later worked out for a redemption, but when... That, that should be Pontius Pilate or Herod, one of them, wanting to crucify Jesus. The wife got up and said, I had a dream. This man is innocent. Don't touch him. Even though we know that it later worked out for the salvation, but let me pray for you. Any wrong step you are about to make, whoever needs to arise to be by your side to correct you so you do not make destiny-destroying mistakes, I pray may God bring them speedily. May they come before the damage happens. I say it again. May they arrive before any damage happens. In the name of Jesus. Help will never come too late for you. Help will never come too late for you. Now I pray for you. The kind of honor you have not seen from January till now, May. If you have the faith to believe it, I lay my hands on my head and I pray for you. In this month of July beginning, may God surprise you. Kings will honor you. Nobles will honor you. Captains of industry will honor you. The great will call you great. In the name of Jesus Christ. Three more prayers and we're done. Three more prayers and we're done. Three more prayers and we're done. I want to pray that prayer of divine strategies for you again. This night as you go to sleep. Dreams that you've not had before. Visions of things you've not seen before. In the name of Jesus, the blueprint, the strategy for the next prophetic season of your life. May it be downloaded to your spirit man. Downloaded to your spirit man. Concerning ministry, concerning business, concerning family, concerning your career, the strategy for the next season, receive it in the name of Jesus. Do you believe what you're receiving? Let me forbid the spirit of death and then speak divine protection. Are we together? Our world is full of evil. It's everywhere. But the Bible says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Let me pray for everyone here. Any car you will enter, where you will never return home again. Any aircraft you will enter, that will be the end of your life. Any journey you will take, that will not allow you to return home. I call upon the God of my covenant. Let it be stopped forever. I say it again, any car you will enter that will stop you from returning home, huh? anywhere you will go to that will mean the end of your life, may God give you discernment. We release angels to be on assignment in the name of Jesus Christ. You are preserved from the arrows that fly by day, the noisome pestilence, the destruction that wastes in noonday. I declare none shall come to your dwelling. My final prayer for you right now is concerning your spiritual life. That means your prayer life, 
that means your word study life that means your passion for the things of God that means your character I pray for you by all means be as spiritual as you should be that means be as prayerful as you should be as word compliant as you should be as transformed as you should be men and women of character by the spirit doing exploits for the kingdom everything that represents slumber spiritual laziness laxity death of your prayer life your communion with God I declare be delivered from it now wave your hands and give Jesus praise we bless you oh God we give you praise we honor you thank you for your good hand in the name of Jesus Christ you are in this place keep standing everybody I want to give someone an opportunity to receive Jesus now you came for this miracle service and even from the moment of worship the Spirit of God began to speak to you telling you that it's a new season and that you should not leave this place without making it right with Jesus I want to make two calls in one following online across the overflows you are saying apostle I don't want to leave this place knowing that number one I have never received Jesus into my heart as my Lord and Savior or you are saying I am in need of rededicating my life wherever you are your bags your Bibles everything you came to church with please leave your seat and run right now come and stand before me I count one to five one let's honor them as they come come to Jesus Koinonia is this the best you can do two come it matters that you make it right with Jesus before you leave. You have seen his grace, you have seen his power. Make it right with him. His savior, his Lord and King. Young and old, male, female, come. Let's clap for them as they come. Three, when I count five, I begin my prayer. So if you are coming from across this place, please hurry up. Overflows, just walk to your LED screens. All other overflows, follow suit following online please make sure you are prepared when i begin the prayer you join by faith let's appreciate them they are still coming four hallelujah amen i want to say a very big thank you to all of you it gives me great joy when i have the privilege of leading many to this jesus not another one this Jesus some of you are making this decision for the first time a number of you are perhaps rededicating your heart your lives to Jesus it doesn't matter you are most welcome and for someone who is following online make sure that you do not shut down until you make this decision please lift your right hand high above your head you're joining them please join quickly it matters that you pray the prayer say after me Lord Jesus as loud as you can say Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I've seen your power I declare that I love you with all my heart I believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for my sin I believe you rose again for my justification right now I receive you into my heart as my Savior my Lord and my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight i am a child of god i go forward ever and backward never amen keep those hands lifted father thank you for this once your word declares that as many who will come to you you will in no wise cast away thank you for drawing this many to yourself and the nameless faceless others who are connecting online in the name of Jesus based on the authority of God's word I declare your sins forgiven I call you bona fide recipients of the life of God the grace to live the victorious Christian life is imparted over you you go forward ever and backward never in Jesus name we pray amen and amen please look to my right that will be your left you will have counselors I would request that you please follow them for a minute they will have a word with you just pray with you and you'll be back to your seat let's honor them as they go koinonia give them a big big god bless you <laughs> hallelujah 
Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, let me encourage everyone, just two announcements and we're done. Number one, please go to Koinonia Global and I want you to listen to the messages that have come from at least the last two months. These messages have been very prophetic, very destiny defining. Take it as an instruction, get these messages and stay on them. Don't assume you heard them, don't assume you were here. The purpose is for your growth and transformation. Listen to them again. Second announcement, make sure that you extend and invite always to someone. God has helped us where people greatly helped of God. But the goal is that there are still more lands to conquer. There are still more people, more people to draw to Jesus. Don't get up and just come to church um, alone and come and sit down, not caring. Do the work of an evangelist. If you cannot preach, you can invite online, offline, on site. Let somebody get to know Jesus because of your life. And I pray for you that this week will be a great week in the name of Jesus. Bishop, thank you again. We really honor your presence. And for everyone who has taken the time to come, we honor you and we love you. Please rise as we close the service. May your week be blessed in Jesus' name. You will see the hand of God this week. Return with great testimonies. In Jesus' name we pray. Together let's share the grace in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide with us now and forever. Amen. Surely God's goodness and mercies follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you. Greet someone.